Um, okay, I'll, I'll speak some about DNS check. Um, since I am project manager uh, for that, and, and um, I've been working with it for um, a few years now. Uh, so it's close at heart, and, and I can give you more details about it. Uh, what does DNS check do? I actually hate this um, this sentence, but um, I'm not sure if you can read it either. But uh, the point is, it's a it's a delegation checking tool. It checks the the quality of a delegation for uh, for a domain or a zone. Uh, what people uh, sometimes um, fail fail to understand is that the uh, y you can never check actual zone content. You can only check the uh, the delegation itself, and and that all the all the parameters are are, are correct and and everything. Uh, because if if you were to try and check if if single uh, A records, web service, whatever were uh, correctly set up and designed, that the parameters just it's it's in insane. Uh, so this is purely DNS is purely a, a tool to check uh, delegations health. A uh, zone's health in 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 the DNS. Uh, and what makes DNS check special? If you, there are a lot of of delegation checking tools out there. Uh, one of the features is that since we sit at the .se uh, database, we have all the redelegations uh, done after February two thousand seven in in uh, our database. So uh, if you redelegate uh, .se zone today. Uh, and you, you check it tomorrow, then we will uh, have stored your old name servers and we can check if they are still authoritative for the zone. Um, it also, we, we, um, we check the, the, the whole SE zone uh, with, um, yeah, periodically. This is actually not part of the DNS check project, more like a health check project that Patrick uses. But um, it's very good since uh, if you use the same code to, to check the full zone, it's it's so good to compare over time and see what happens. Stuff like the Kaminsky bug, I mean, it's very interesting to see deviations. Uh, and also for, for a TLD or a registrar with a lot of zones, it's so extremely easy to have all those zones in a table, for example, and then you put all of them into the DNS check queue, sponk, everything uh, gets checked, and you can compare these uh, results with each other. Extremely easy. DNS check was built to do stuff like that. Uh, the DNS check uh, were actually the <laughs> the GUI or the um, uh, yeah the tool itself tries to clarify uh, found warnings and errors, uh, <coughs> and these are these are part of text-based messages policies. Uh, but still, we try to uh, really explain um, if, if some something is uh, broken. We really try to explain what it is. Uh, also, we s we save history. Uh, uh, we we saved uh, tests done for for um, per domain. So if you if you try domain today and one week from now and two weeks from now, uh, you can also go back in time and see what what changed. Uh, and also <coughs> now if we uh, we update in a check, we get a new version tag. So you can also see if if something changes. It could be due to uh, a version uh, jump in DNS check, but now it's now it's logged. Every every check is logged with a version tag, so you know um <coughs> if something changes between versions. I mean, it could be a bug, or it could be that we check something more thoroughly now. So perhaps it's something that we didn't check before. So uh, that's also good, uh, and also good with this history. Uh, in the in the graphical user interface, there's an advanced tab, uh, which gives quite similar output uh <coughs> to th so that the backend gives, uh, and that's really good for um, uh, finding errors. Oops, sorry. Um, it also uh, it's written as modular code uh, in Perl, so it's very easy to use just a single module. Um, for example, if you if you want to test DNSSEC only, it's extremely easy to to just use the DNSSEC module, and you don't have to have any other part of the code. Uh, it's open source under BSD license, so it's free for use even in commercial projects. 
Uh, and also one of the really cool features is that you can test domains that are actually not delegated. So you can you can test something that you will do in the future. It's very cool. Uh, <laughs> built for tomorrow. Uh, when we started designing uh, Dina Check, we knew that IPv6 wasn't something that would die. It was something that we were going to have to use or want to use. So um, uh, every time we did changes or, or did anything with the code, we always had in mind that this has to work uh, as good as it does with IPv4 over IPv6 too. <coughs> uh, and this actually worked very nicely because suddenly we, uh, after a lot of uh, harassing <laughs> the tech department, we got IPv6 to the uh, to our DNS check server, and we just added use IPv6 in the configuration. Boom, everything worked. So that was very nice. Uh, also DNSSEC, uh, we, we uh, test some parameters of DNSSEC on, on the name servers uh, for the zone. <coughs> uh, we don't really do a lot of, or any, uh, crypto checks, but we check, uh, for example, presence of uh, old legacy algorithms. Uh, also, that, that, you, you, um, that you have the algorithm that you have to have. There are also SHA, SHA1, I think, and 256 or 512. Uh, and also, uh, additional processing is also interesting because uh, you can configure a zone, uh, sign it, uh, and have, for, let's say, three sla um, name servers. And on two of them, you have additional processing on, which says that enable DNSSEC. On the third, you don't enable DNSSEC. It will still uh, get the zone, it will load the zone, but DNSSEC will break on that one. And it's it's quite common configuration mistake that you don't enable DNSSEC, uh, but you load a signed zone. Uh, and it's quite hard to find, actually. But this you know, check will, will find it and, and say that this name server uh, doesn't have DNSSEC or additional processing on. Uh, and also, that it follows the chain, so chain of trust if if one is present, um, and that is the yeah you know if you upload the DS, it goes down the chain. Our live test. Off. Um. Want the domain here? Can take it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> um, so uh, this this first page should uh, it it, uh, it tries to be as, as simple as possible. Uh, only shows uh, the warnings or errors that it fi uh, finds, uh, and also it it uh, it compresses stuff that the user doesn't really have to see. <coughs> uh, for example, the consistency and so on, connectivity checks. Everything was green there, so it compresses them and doesn't show too much for the to the user. But uh, a warning was found in the test, so uh, the summary is a warning, and it gives a timestamp and, and the version here of the NS check. And then uh, you can click on this warning to see what, what the error was, although it says too few IPv6 name servers. Uh, and here you get the explanation of uh, why this is a problem. <coughs> and it says only one IPv6 name server was found for the zone, you should always have at least two IPv6 name servers for a zone to be able to handle transient connectivity problems. Um, so, yeah. One, basically, one IPv6 name server is almost worse than none at all. Um, An advanced result. This is more um, uh, tech heavy because it says actually um, every step of the way what, what, the, uh, what the test does. <coughs> Uh, and first, it gets a list of, of name servers from parent, and goes and queries the, the child name servers and, and gets the list there and compares those, of course. Uh, and checks a lot of glue, <coughs> and also the previously used name servers, but is.se uh, has not been redelegated, so this is empty. And I check the name servers, a lot of stuff. 
the bold parts are um, <coughs> uh, there are different levels of, of messages. <coughs> Everything from debug, it's just information. Uh, info, good to know. These normal lines are info because they say something is happening. Then you have notice. Notice is uh, in the GUI presented as bold because it's something that you should be uh, slightly more aware of than info. Uh, then you have warning, which it turns yellow in the, in the GUI. And yes, there's warning in the command line. <coughs> uh, error turns red in GUI and, and um, yeah, says error in command line. Uh, and then you have critical. And critical means that the test cannot go on. It's something broke so bad that it aborts the test. Name servers, activities, and so on. Lots of so on tests. Only one, six. Here's the DNS part, that might be most interesting. Um, see that all the uh, three name servers uh, are DNS enabled. Four if you count RPV6. Oh. Uh, see when the, the DNS signature expires, I think that's the yeah, it's a DNS key record. <coughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Checks a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, any questions, by the way, just attack me. So this is the, uh, the basic, very, very simple. I just show the problem. Uh, the advanced result is more through, you can you can actually see what happens there, <coughs> and I have the undelegated test. Uh, in here, the point is you uh, you do a normal DNS check test, but you do it on a domain that is not delegated in the in the DNS, so it doesn't have to exist at all. You can take a domain that doesn't exist. I don't exist. Dot se, uh, and then you add the name servers that are configured uh, as uh, slaves for this domain. So I'm not sure if this one is trying. Uh, so in this example, we do a full DN uh, DNS check on this, uh, but we lie to DNS check about the parent. So in this case, the parent will actually say that <coughs> I don't exist or SE exists in this name server. errors found. And this broke down instantly uh, because the name server wasn't configured for this domain. Uh, but yeah, you, I think you see the point. You can, um <coughs> before you buy a domain, before you delegate the domain, you can test it here, set up your name server, test it, and if everything's green here, uh, then you can buy it and it's very likely to, to uh, work straight out of the box since you've got green light here. Yep. <coughs> yeah, I think that's it. Um, you want to know more? Best best uh, bet is to go to opensource.is.se to find everything. Um, and yeah, the, the GUI for DNSCheck is DNSCheck.is.se. Yeah, I think that's it. <coughs>